Hey guys, this is Jesse, one of the Reds at Ready, and I'm back, and we are headed to Canada this time. We're really busy, but I've been planning this trip out. We got a couple guys with us. We're gonna be going up to Lake Winnipeg, chasing those greenback walleyes, hoping for some big ones. We're super busy though at work. Matt had to stay behind, so he's gonna go fish at the river close to our place, and let's see who catches the most fish. So we've actually never brought this stuff up here before with a ranger, trailer, truck. Let's see what kind of hassle we have at customs, but we're hoping we'll be able to go straight on through and get on the ice today yet before it gets too late for the evening bite. Catch some fish, get on the scoreboard. We made it, we're in Canada, eh? We're getting all unpacked here, suited up, warmed up. We got the ranger unhooked. We're gonna be pulling this thing out here in just a short second. We got a few miles to go to get to our spot, but we're excited. Those big greenbacks calling our name. We just had a tip when we got on the ice. Some guy just came off and he said he was catching them up here. So they're waiting for us. Yep. Got to talk to the locals. Al got the first fish. Look at that beauty. Look how big it is. Yeah, all right. I think it is so pretty is, that, uh, that green just shines. That's why they call these the greenbacks. Incredible. Uh, so Al here made his homemade jig. My homemade jig and spoon. And look what he got. He got a nice keeper. What do you think? Is that 15, oh, 16? Yeah, 16 inches. 16 inch walleye. <laughs> Incredible. Look at that. Man, we're marking them like crazy. So look at this, guys. There's a fish coming in right here. I'll go up to 10 feet to slip a little bit. And there's a jig right in front of it. So I was going to try to coerce it in. He's jigging right above it. Pretty cool the technology that was out there to help you mark fish and know where to go. Got a Vexlar going. This is just sonar so you can see something down there. Got the lure here. And so if you see something, it'll give a mark. Oh, Isaac's on the scoreboard here. Another one for Team Canada. Look at that beauty. Third confirmed catch here. Let's add it to the clicker. Some of you may be wondering, how in the world do you drill down in this ice? Well, guess what? Up north, it is cold, and this ice gets so thick, it's almost four feet deep. In fact, a normal auger cannot go through, so you gotta put an extension on just to drill through the ice. Crazy, but guess what? A lot of people are out here, trucks driving around out here. We got a tracked ranger just so we can make sure we don't get stuck. As long as the wind isn't blowing, it's actually pretty fun. Let's go take a look at what Isaac's got here. This is a tip up otter sled house. If we lift this up, what will we find inside? <laughs> hey Isaac. Look at that, so slick. You put all your stuff in here and you can tow it to the next spot if you're not catching anything here. First full day, we got Four really nice ones. It was kind of slow. We had a lot marking, but we just couldn't, they were, just weren't interested. But hey, we got four over 20 inches, so really excited about that. It is freezing cold out here. So we're trying to get loaded up. It's about 7 p.m., but everyone's off the ice. There's not much of a night bite out here, so we're gonna get packed up, head back to the hotel, get warmed up, get some food, and ready for tomorrow. Hey guys, it's gonna be short and sweet. I uh, stayed home just because there was a lot going on here and uh, there's some mission critical things I just felt like I couldn't get away. And I'm gonna be gone for nine days at a farm show, a couple farm shows and a visit to someone you might know, Fast Ag. You know what, I just decided to stay home but you know what, that doesn't mean I can't go ice fishing. 
I was able to get in ice fishing in the mornings and then in the afternoons here and still hang out with my family, get some things done. It was fabulous. Let's go out on the ice and let's see if we can catch some more here on the last beautiful sunny day here on the weekend. And uh, of course, look at all the pictures I took of the fish we caught over the weekend. Fishing's been great here back home. And uh, you know what? It looked for a while that I was gonna be catching more fish than the guys up in Winnipeg. But you know, I think the uh, inches and the quantity has surpassed what I've done here. But let's go catch some fish tonight, hopefully. Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday morning. This is the big day. We're gonna be catching those greenbacks at into Team Canada. This time we got a new strategy. We caught some nice ones yesterday, but just not the quantity we need. So we're split up. We got three of us all spread out here about 500 yards apart. And we're gonna be finding them and catching them. Sorry I couldn't get some video of some of our big ones we caught yesterday. It was so cold, it was below zero in the morning that the GoPros didn't even work. So we missed those, but I'll show you guys what I'm doing here. I got my fish finder here. Sensor down that hole and I'm fishing two different holes. Interesting thing up in Canada here, you can't use barbed hooks, which makes it a big challenge to keep minnows on, but it's the rules, you gotta follow it, so that's what we gotta do. Sit. This is what you call a two for one jigging. Well, I did catch one. You got one? Yeah. What size? Yep, 22. 22. A little gold eye. First one in the evening. And check this out, guys. Beautiful walleye greenback. Let her rip. You got him. Oh, he liked the oh. Look at this. Just a little guy. Well, guys, we just set up the house fishing at the spot I was at, and guess what? Found one halfway up the water column, 16 inches. Oh, it's a little walleye. First walleye of the night. Real little guy, but walleye nonetheless. Another nice eater, although we're putting them all back. So Isaac just called us and said that he just caught a master angler. Now, if you don't know what that means, it's a walleye over 27 or 28 inches. He got a 29 incher. So unfortunately, we're not over there to get the video of it. We'll show you guys some pictures. The thing is huge. Oh, it's a walleye. Nice one. A little bigger walleye this time. 12 inch. Very common to have 12 to 13 inch out here. So we're going to try to get a little bigger one. I got a nice one here on the line. There, right, I got him. Oh man, look at that. Oh, oh, oh. Yep, 22 and a half. Nice. It's a good one for Team Canada, right? Oh, oh, oh! They're walleye! We upgraded. Cheyenne River walleye, guys. Yeah, almost. Ah, uh, it's about 13. When it rains, it pours. Got another 16. Yeah, walleye. Oh. walleye. Nice one. That might be a keeper. Got a 13 and a half walleye here. So, growing up a little bit. Oh, look down, look down. Oh, a double! I don't even know what to do. There's fish swimming out of our ears. 21 and a quarter. Nice greenbacks. Wow. Good job. So we had a total of 16 walleye. How many do you have, Isaac? Uh, 10. 10. 26 walleye today. Team Canada. Woo! What a great day. Sunday morning. We just got a half a day before we have to head back to Fargo. But look at this. Just started. Punched some holes. This nice beauty came up. That's a good sign. We got Al over there, Isaac over there, and we're ready to try to catch some more greenbacks. Look at that beauty. Oh man, guys, just pulled out a nice one here. About a 22 incher. Look at this beauty. Second fish this morning. What? An eel pout? Oh my goodness! Look at that ugly thing. It's huge! What a ugly fish! Oh man, it even tangled my other line. First eel pout of the trip. Yeah, I, we didn't even know if there was any in here. I had we figured to get there it. was. I can't even get them to stretch well, out. Oh, you gotta lay them flat. Snake. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh. 
Should we, uh, the release. should we let them go? Uh, I'd say so. I suppose. We got some nice fish today, but I had to go and get an eel pout, so there you go. Just got a double. Two of them. Both rods saw them coming in. Grabbed the one up here. He let loose, so I grabbed him out of the hole and then had another one, so look at that. We're all about a 17 and a half. 15. 15 and a half. Awesome. Oh, that's nice. Really nice. Oh, ho, ho. yeah, 22. That's what I'd guess. 22, almost, almost 21, a half. 21 and a half. Smile big. Well guys, this is the end of our trip here. Last daylight here to pack up and get going. It's gonna be dark by the time we get back. But hey, we had a great time. We had to spend about three days fishing, caught probably about 50 to 60 walleye. One eel pout. I'd say it was pretty good for the first time for Al and I. Isaac over there caught his first master angler, 29 inches, huge fish, and a 25. So he's super pumped about that. So I'm thinking Team Canada for the win this time. Sorry, Matt, but Lake Winnipeg just has too many fish and they're way bigger than what you're able to catch back home. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you had a fun time and God bless. Hope you enjoyed this little adventure we've had this weekend. And I uh, hope the guys up in Winnipeg had a great time. Lake Winnipeg, I hear great things about it. Well, it certainly did not disappoint on this trip that the guys took. And I hope you enjoyed that adventure. Um, here's Matt from the Fargo area checking out and thank you for watching remember to like and subscribe to keep up on all this sometimes interesting content right and they get to watch you what's there not to like about that god bless we're out of here several days later well I don't know what it is but it's big wow <laughs> Um, my heartbeat is beating so fast. Oh, it's a monster. Oh, it's a monster. You guys, it's a monster walleye. I've never seen one so big. Oh my goodness! I don't even know how to pick him up! Oh my goodness! It's a river monster! Holy cow! Look at this thing! They do exist! <laughs> Look at the size of this thing! Here he is! Oh my. Look at that bad boy! Come on, straighten up from me. Oh, isn't that nice? <laughs> Let's put him on the bump board. He gets over 28 inches. I'm touching the front. 